Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesus, and today I'd like to talk about the film Advantageous. So Advantageous is a 2015 sci-fi drama film directed by Jennifer Fang. Just a quick note that the director's last name is actually pronounced Pung. Apologies for the mispronunciation. I will do a little bit better job of doing research in the future. It stars Jacqueline Kim, who also co-wrote the film along with Jennifer Fang. The film is about Gwen, who is played by Jacqueline Kim. It is set in the future, and Gwen sells cosmetic procedures for the Center for Advanced Health and Living. Despite her relatively affluent position in life, she works below scale and is having difficulty sustaining a lifestyle that would ensure her daughter, Jules, has a solid education and future. It's honestly and quite sadly so refreshing to see Asian American women on screen, particularly older Asian American women. I also love that it's female written, female directed, Asian American written and directed as well. So the film definitely deals a lot with capitalism and technology and gender. And I think there's definitely a lens of race that we can apply to the film as well. It does some pretty great world building. This is a future in which women are being phased out of the workforce and they are only really seen as valuable for giving birth. It's interesting as well that this is also set in a time in which women are becoming infertile at very rapid rates. And Gwen, who is in a relatively privileged situation, is still having to deal with a lot of these pressures, particularly when it comes to her employment and her precarious employment situation. Due to her age, she's essentially being pushed out of this corporation whose purpose really is selling, you know, eternal youth, eternal health. And Gwen is put in a situation in which she has to figure out how far she'll go in order to ensure her daughter's future success. What I really like about this film is that it's sci-fi, but it's also very character-driven and really focuses on character development and character relationships. We really get to witness a lot of the internal and external pressures and stresses that Gwen faces and how that impacts her relationship with her daughter. The world building, again, is also really interesting. We really see a future in which technology is so advanced and in which workers and roles positions are becoming obsolete. This is also kind of an unstable future as we do witness within the background images of unrest, attacks, terrorist attacks, etc. And I do kind of love that we see these a little bit, but it doesn't really explore that much further. They're kind of just in the background to give you a little bit of a context about the world in which Gwen is living in. So the real sci-fi aspect comes in with Gwen's employer. As I mentioned before, she works for the Center for Advanced Health and Living, which is very youth focused. We see some of the lengths that folks will go to to remain young and especially how youth impacts their place in society. One thing that was really interesting to me is this concept of the precariousness of the middle class within this universe and maybe the way that capitalism makes it so. Again, Gwen is relatively privileged, her daughter goes to an elite private school, but the film really shows how easily all of that can be taken away. Along with this aspect of capitalism, we also see how gender plays into it, and we see instances of how race can also play into it, so we really see how a lot of these identities can compound in terms of like oppression and pressures that Gwen faces as an Asian American woman in this reality. So given that it is a very low budget film, I was really, really impressed with the storytelling, the focus on characters, and the world building. So some of the things that I didn't really like so much, I think the editing was uneven at times, rushed at others. And while I did like that it was a slower paced film, especially for sci-fi, there were parts that did seem a little bit slow, even within that regard. I also think that the final act could have explored a lot of the concepts that it introduces a lot further. While it is a personal story about characters and relationships, it would have been interesting to see a little bit more of the larger impact that the technology in the film shows. Overall, in terms of score, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I was really impressed by this. Jacqueline Kim is an incredible actress. She's definitely on my radar now. And I think that Jennifer Fang has a great eye for storytelling and I would love to see what further projects she has. So if you enjoy things like Black Mirror that speak a lot about technology and its impact on humanity and human relationships, or if you enjoy a slower paced sci-fi, which has a real focus on character development and character relationships, I highly recommend Advantageous. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give me a thumbs up or subscribe. And please let me know what you thought of this video. Have you seen Advantageous? And do you enjoy kind of a slower sci-fi film? Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon, bye.